So I do get questions asked, doctor, if I've miscarried, why is it four weeks later I'm still testing positive for pregnancy? In some women, there's that faint hope that, oh, actually, maybe I might still be pregnant if I'm still testing positive for pregnancy. As you know, the typical symptoms of miscarriages or signs would be, you know, cramping of the abdomen or the lower pelvis. In some cases, you might get sharp pain, you know, bleeding or passing large clots through the vagina. And some women might have what you call a missed miscarriage, where basically you don't have those typical signs at that time, which means you've miscarried a few weeks ago, but you're still carrying a pregnancy. And some women might notice that they're not having the pregnancy symptoms that they normally would have, which would be the breast tenderness, nausea, you know, feeling fatigued, mood swings. However, there are women who go for pregnancy without having any pregnancy symptoms whatsoever. But if you've had a miscarriage before, you might recognize that these might be the signs of a missed miscarriage. And when you do a urine test for pregnancy, in some cases, you might have a faint line. You could have a faint line if maybe it's you're too early on in the pregnancy to do the blood, to do the urine test. You could also have a faint line if maybe you drink too much water, or it could be that the pregnancy kit you're using is not reliable. The best test to do, if you're not sure whether you're pregnant or whether you've miscarried, is actually a blood test for HCG. We call it the serum HCG test. And actually tells you if your HCG levels are rising or dropping. Now your HCG is also known as the human chorionic gonadotrophin, which is secreted by the placenta during pregnancy and helps to maintain pregnancy. Your blood HCG test should correspond usually to the number of weeks that you're pregnant. So if your levels are too low, it could be that the pregnancy is failing, or you might have an ectopic pregnancy, or it might be too early to do the test. Maybe you're one to two weeks pregnant and you're doing the test earlier than you should do. So here is a list of HCG levels that you should expect for the corresponding weeks of pregnancy. So for example, you're four weeks pregnant, you do a blood test and your levels are 620. If you do another blood test 48 hours later, your levels might be 1,400. So with blood tests, you'd expect the levels to double in a viable pregnancy within that 48 hour period. Or every 48 hours, I would expect your blood test for ACG levels to be doubling, which means that you've got a viable pregnancy. However, if you're having a miscarriage or an ectopic pregnancy, you do a blood test that is 420, you check it 48 hours later and it's say 500, then it's unlikely that that's a viable pregnancy. Or you do the blood test 48 hours later and it's 300, that tells you that the pregnancy is actually failing and it's unlikely to go on to be a successful pregnancy. You can see from the list that ACG blood tests can go from its tens, tens of thousands to hundreds of thousands and this depends on how many weeks pregnant you are. So even if you have a miscarriage, you know, your levels might gradually drop, not straight to pre-pregnancy levels. In some women, they might drop by 50% every 14 hours. In other women, it might take 50% fall within seven days of losing a pregnancy. So while a urine ACG test just looks for whether you're positive or negative in terms of pregnancy or that presence of a line or absence of a line, the blood test will actually look at the values and the numbers that tells you if you're having a viable pregnancy or if you've actually miscarried. So this is why when you do a urine test, you can still be pregnant even four weeks after you miscarried. So for example, a woman who's 12 weeks pregnant is more likely to still have the hormones in her system compared to a woman who is six weeks pregnant, for instance, after a miscarriage. Another reason why you might still be positive after four weeks is that your body might still contain the products of conception or the fetal tissue that still has the ACG and your body has not fully expelled it out of the system. Another rare cause is a molar pregnancy where basically you've got the placenta but no baby and this usually happens when the sperm fertilizes an empty egg, which is usually seen on ultrasound. So these are the reasons why you could have miscarried two weeks ago, but you're still having a positive pregnancy test. So if in doubt, you're doing a urine test, and this has been four weeks later, or even sometimes six weeks later, you're still positive, you can always go for a blood test where you can look at the levels. If, you're, if you do a blood test and the level is 80, and this is four weeks down the line, then you know you're not pregnant. However, if you do a blood test and the levels are, say, 500, and you check it again 48 hours later and it goes up to 1,200, then you know that, oh yes, this is pregnancy. 
In some cases, you might also want to confirm with an ultrasound. So if you're more than six weeks pregnant, then an ultrasound will obviously show the beating heart of the fetus. Less than six weeks, an ultrasound is not so reliable because the heart has not really developed yet. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any pregnancy related questions, please feel free to ask.